Hello and welcome to the War Report. I am your host Cyrus, joined by Quan. This is the show where we talk about NXT and AEW. How was your Fourth of July? Um, it was the weather was trash. It was like super, super humid, and then, and then it was just raining. It was just it wasn't good weather. I was very much in the house. My uh, my daughter wasn't even around, so I had nothing really much to do. I was just in the crib playing Diablo. Hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I saw a t- I, I saw a tweet that was just like it, w- it was uh, the weather was perfect during Juneteenth, but it, it rained me? on Fourth of July, and I said, Feel "Yeah, me? I like what that. I like that. I like that." Um, yeah, kind of same deal here. Um, I was trying to plan to do some stuff for Fourth of July. Um, sorry, I'm trying not to sneeze. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Oh man. Well, anyway, yeah, it's the fourth. Oh, okay, you got it. You good yeah, now? You good to go? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm. All I right, actually feel terrible. Sure. But um, what is it? Uh, I I was hanging out with my brother. Uh, he drove down from Jacksonville, and then uh, we we hung out. So that's I didn't what even know you had a brother. We've been doing the podcast two years. I had no idea you had a brother, bro. <laughs> Why would I talk about them? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I'm sure I mentioned my brother on here before. No, you have not. No. Uh, you you mentioned your daughter more than anybody, and probably one of your cousins. <laughs> um, yeah, not sure. I uh, yeah, well, fuck, I'm not talking about my family on here. Um, the only thing I will talk about my family on here is he never gonna hear this, but my cousin is getting married next uh next month and hey. like next next month in a week. Okay. I am one of his groomsmen, best men, whatever. Uh, I'm nice. not the one. Uh, no, you're not the best man. I don't think I'm a best. Yeah, I'm just a groomsman, which I'm completely fine with that. Um, so I'm looking forward. To, uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it, but nobody's giving me updates on how we're getting there because everybody everybody has like different ways. And I said I'm cool with anything as long as we get there. Yeah. Right. Where is it? it? it it's in Atlanta. So like it's not far. I, people are just like, oh, let's take a road trip. I I honestly rather be on a plane. It's much faster. We'll get there quicker. I do not want to be in a car for a really long time with y'all. <laughs> like yeah, uh, that deep. most of my like, most of my family. 10 hours? Most of, yeah, most of my family is in Miami. So but like I'm not really trying to be in a car with y'all mad long. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, no, I'm good on that. That, that that's the cut and drive it. But, you know um, my, my my cutoff like if it's more than like six hours, I'm not driving. Planing, bro. Yeah, yeah, that's a plane. I I rather just do the plane and then we go to so we don't know. Uh, nobody has reserved anything for where we're staying. People's uh they said uh they said that they wanted to do an Airbnb and not the place uh where the reception or whatever's happening. Um and. Just for frame of reference, for Justice Wedding that I had the pleasure of going to, they had the perfect hotel, you know, reserved book or whatever, so we could do that. And then uh, the wedding chapel was probably like four blocks away. Realistically could have walked. But why would we walk in such nice outfits? But um, yeah, so we don't know how we're getting there, where we're staying, this motherfucker has not hit me up about any groomsmen related stuff about getting suits, measurements, yep. bachelor party, nothing. Y'all got a group chat? No group chat has been made. Oh my goodness. He proposed the wedding. We have known about the wedding since December. Since uh, because mm. he, he called me and said she he was gonna propose. So I knew. And he told me that I was gonna be his groomsman, like probably like you know, a couple of weeks after he like popped the question or whatever, and she said yes. Uh Christmas time. I'm with another one. Uh, I was with one of his best men. Uh, you know, ch- uh, the best man is one of a childhood friend of ours. Uh, mm-hmm. mutual friend. We're talking about bachelor parties, you know, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, you know, all this Ooh. sort of stuff, yada, yada. You know, it's just like, yeah, man, let's really, let's really get this shit cracking. I, I was told that they were going to form a group chat and then, you know, w- w- we'll go on from there. They got my number and everything. See, this is the problem. Where are we going? Guy, with a group of guys trying to figure out the plans, what the <laughs> vibes are. Nope. 
because for Justin's bachelor party, it was like, uh, I would say it's about 11, 9, 11 of us. A lot of us, we were coordinated as shit. Only one person flaked and we found a replacement. Shout out to Dom. Like, what, like what those? I'm, I'm saving well, all this money I, I, to drop on like a Justin, dime. Justin's very detail oriented about things. So I'd imagine yeah. the people around him I, also I, are possibly similar. I, I I'm insanely glad for that because motherfucker, it's a, a month and some change away. I saved up money to like, you know, sort of just drop on a dime because I, I I feel like I'm going to get hit with like measurements and shit last minute. But like, wow. let me tell you something. Being a groomsman, like, you don't understand how expensive it is. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're like, you're not, I'm like, I'm barely in the wedding. Why is it so expensive for me? I remember yeah, my friend's and, wedding, they were the same. They're like, why am I spending so much money? <laughs> I, I, I was fine with it. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't a groomsman at one of J5, uh, at J5's wedding, but like for the bachelor party, we were our, like, I feel like everybody was kind of in an agreeing, uh, agreeance, except like one person, that Justin not spending a goddamn dime. Yeah, he shouldn't. He's already, you know, he getting married. I I don't got bread like that, but I made sure that shit was possible. <laughs> yeah, I made sure it was damn for sure possible. I dog. I know this per. Uh, I feel. Uh, I'm not sure how many people he has. As his, uh, I'm sure it's only like, like four to six people. I saved up a lot of money. Okay. Hmm. By the end, I would say in two weeks, if I don't get an update about what we doing about suits and shit, I'm spending that money on something else. <laughs> you, know, you say fuck it. There's other shit I'd rather do, um, because there was already uh, something already happened once with the wedding. I'm not gonna say what it was, mm-hmm. but something already happened with the wedding, and I was just like, okay, that sucks. The money that I saved up so far. I used it to go to Mania. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Yeah. I come back from Mania. Now I got to start saving again. I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> but I need information about it. And, and it's not like I haven't talked to my cousin in a while. He called me during game, uh, what is it? The Heat game four, game five, game, however, like every time the Heat was playing, I, I, I got a call. Mm. Uh, my birthday, I got a call. Uh, and I, I'll, I'll probably honestly, I might get a call this week. Well, like, I asked him about the wedding, and he's just like, "Yeah, man, you know, busy. You're not busy planning this wedding, brother. <laughs> like, what's cracking, bro? Uh, yeah, what are you busy? Like, what's busier than that? Like, what's more, more a bigger? Yeah, I, I, I'm sure. Like, that? like, I'm sure, like, living." Is more important, like you know, like paying rent and shit like that, like for show. But like, my nigga, like we got a wedding on the way. (laughs) Is this shit happening, bro? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm so confused if there's gonna be a ceremony or some shit. But uh, that that's what I'm currently going through. Besides, uh, I'm experiencing sort of a high fever. Um, but I, I can't. I took a, I took a Zyrtec before this. It hasn't kicked in yet. Um, the AC's on. I'm still like hot and sweating, but like, whatever. I, I I'm strong enough to push through, but like, yeah, you gotta push through, buddy. We gotta <laughs> push through. I'll turn this shit off right now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, okay. yeah, let, let, let's get into these trenches, man. Um, we talked about uh collision on his debut, just talking about how long. Will this 800, uh, you know, or like how how much this rise will stay before Kalisha starts hitting Rampage numbers? And we're here. It has already been hitting Rampage numbers. Uh, I know we don't talk about ratings a lot, but. um, I feel like we have been talking about ratings a lot. (laughs) Oh, honestly, just for collision, though. Um, Because, you know, we said how long it might last and I felt like it was it would be smart to actually keep track. Uh, and now we're here. Collision is now into the 400s or for uh, 450s, uh, 450, uh, 452, I believe. Yeah, 452k people watching the show. And I believe Dynamite, I mean, uh, Rampage was like 
it was uh, four oh five or some shit. Yeah, it was just damn near the same thing. Yeah, uh, there are one Euler, Wheeler Uta match for matching the numbers. Um, then earlier today, um, Meltzer was just kind of just saying that you know, oh, well, a lot of people have just been saying that TV's down, just in general, like period. TV is just down. But then uh, Meltzer, I found it was so funny on his tweet. He was just like, you know. TV's down, and then in parentheses, except WWE. Like, WWE's up. I mean, yeah, there's no denying it. You can't, there's no, yeah, you, you can't, can't deny the it. numbers. You can't fake that. So it's just like, so is that, like, is that not, like, bizarre? Does that not raise, like, a red flag or anything? Like, everything's hot on TV, or, like, everything's low on TV, but WWE right now. Does that, um, not, does that not set something off that AEW might be doing something wrong? Look, man, I tweeted this earlier today. There's been a lot, a lot. The uh, the energy on on the Twitter timeline about ratings has changed a lot in the past uh, oh, sixteen dear. months or so. Past, oh, yeah, yeah let's, we'll say past sixteen months or so. Um, I tweeted this earlier. I basically was like, "This TV ratings matter." I mean, they don't. They all of a sudden TV ratings don't matter until they do matter. I just feel like. If you if you as you know the consumer or the the product itself are bragging about the ratings, you know when y'all were up, and then all of a sudden like when you're not as hot as y'all was before, now we don't hear no ratings talk. We don't hear about no demo god. I haven't heard demo god in about a year. Uh-huh. Um, you know what I mean? That yeah, your your world champion talking about the the TV ratings and stuff. Yeah, well, uh, check, so, check, check the minute by minute, but the whole product yeah. is failing. So it just like, why now all of a sudden the ratings not matter? I see. I saw a lot of those tweets this, this past two days. And I think it's just interesting. Um, but just in general, I don't really know what AEW can do at this point, kind of to maintain mm-hmm. even a reasonable type of a uh, rating for you know uh, such a a tough time slot. That is and, 8 p.m. on a Saturday night. Yeah, and and I, I like. I really don't know what uh, else you can really do. Go ahead. Yeah, and I, I, I uh, let me just stop you right there. Is that people? For for first, it was, you know, collision is going to be fine on that time slot. You know, uh, and then like they did fine for the first episode on that time slot, and people were just like, "See, you know, they can do it." Then soon, as soon as it got bad, it, it turned into, "Well, what you think was going to happen on a Saturday night on at, at eight, eight o'clock?" And it was like, yeah. niggas, you sound like me now. I will say, um, the episode the episode was taped. I don't know how much that affects the ratings. It didn't I, for SmackDown on Friday, so yeah, I I didn't even know it was taped. Yeah, they taped who it knew, because of who, uh, Canada who, Day. Who knew it was taped? I mean, if you're a fan of AEW, I guess you you know it was taped. <laughs> I knew it was I'm taped. Not, I'm not that guy. Oh, so you're a fan of AEW? Interesting. I mean, I watch it. I haven't okay. missed an episode yet. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of excuses like flying around for this whole thing. And it's just like, well, it's a time slot that they chose. They could have probably aimed for something else or, you know, n- not have collision and sort out their problems. So they didn't have to have a whole, sh- uh, a whole different show for punk to be on. Um, uh, that's probably and then, a bigger problem in all this. Yeah, that that that's the much larger issue. Like, <laughs> what is it? The really, tip of the, really, the, the tip of the iceberg is like ratings, and then like under the yeah. iceberg is like yeah, everything else the, really wrong. The rate, the ratings are whatever, but like yeah. <laughs> the fact that half your roster, <laughs> or at least half of your main your main event guys don't want to show up there. That's that's, that's tough, man. <laughs> that's, real, that's a real tough situation to be in. Like I, I, mean, I, I I don't know how you thought this show would work. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not about to write it off immediately. Like, like that 425 could be some kind of anomaly because it was a holiday weekend or whatever, whatever. But when there was a show earlier, people might be fatigued. But I, I'm more, I'm more interested to see what like you know in the next couple of months what it's looking like. If it's still consistently in that number, then it might be a cause for a little concern. I agree. Um 
and then in an earlier report earlier today, uh, Malachi Black, he said that he strictly uh, requested to be on collision. And I don't know. I don't think, the, uh, personally, I don't really think that's a good move because if you have FTR on collision, that's where, like, you know, the tag titles are going to be. You kind of have this whole lane on Dynamite to really rule. You know, well, uh, they're, they're the trios tag champions, so but like still that counts. Like for 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 one tag title that's not gonna be on the show, that's where they could slot in. And they chose to be on the show with uh significantly less viewers. Um, I do believe that um it's a, it's a scheduling issue for Malachi. I believe he's like opening up like a, a school or something. I don't know what he's doing, but so I mean it might have just been better for him to just do the Saturday shows. Mm. Work weekends and they'd be free on the weekdays, you know, run a school or whatever. If if that's more lucrative, but I, yeah, I don't know. It's very interesting. That could be the political answer. It could be he don't fuck with them over there either. Or I don't know, or, or they're choosing sides. We won't ever really know. But I do think it's interesting that like he went out of his way to tell us that. I don't know. I don't know what that exactly means. Yeah, we, uh, we could we could dangerously speculate and just say maybe he don't fuck with the elite. That's probably the fun thing uh, to talk no. about, but. <laughs> no, I, I I wasn't really going to go there. I was just like, you know, I, I just thought like being on Dynamite would probably be better since, you know, FTR, the people that actually don't fuck with the Bucks and such, or, you know, claim that they don't. Uh, yeah. But, you know, um, that it like, you know, there there's a lane on Dynamite for, for them to like thrive uh, since, you know, the lack of the tag team champions being on the show. Oof. But yeah, that, 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 that's it. Uh, what's next? Um, NXT Europe update. Uh, the merger uh, slowed down uh, the process. Um, yeah, man. Excuse me, I have to blow. You know what it's starting it start to sound like to me? This shit ain't happening no time soon. Like in, in nowhere in the near immediate future. I know what Triple A said at the press conference, but. I don't think it's happening anytime soon. I don't think they really need uh, to. Well, what, what did he say at the press conference? I didn't watch. I don't he, watch he would just he would just like the murders really slowed it down, but we're still trying to aim the you know get it going as fast as possible. But that don't sound too promising. This is yeah, this, you know this, this this is like this is like how I felt about AEW Fight Forever. How like it got announced and then we just didn't hear anything at all for <laughs> months and months. I'm like, hey, like we haven't heard a peep about NXT Europe. What's going yeah. on? <laughs> it's that's where I'm kind of at with it right now. Like we might not see this for a good amount of time, especially with the merger now. Yeah, it could take some time to open up a whole new PC in the UK or whatever, yeah. get a whole promotion started. I don't know the logistics of how that works, but I'm just well, like, uh, what, when they were out there for Money in the Bank, they were training at there was some trial. Yeah, I think there was like tryouts or something. But like, or they, they were, they, or they were talking like free agents. I, saw, I think that's what the uh, uh, uh I, I, I just saw photos and. I saw on the ring skirt, it had the old NXT UK logo on it. Well, yeah, maybe that PC over there is still, still theirs. I don't know. Uh, I'm curious I if they like, could run shows in there. Well, I feel, I feel like, like, like there like might a, not be. A, a waste of overhead to fucking <laughs> have that building just sitting there. You ain't using it. Yeah. Uh, you think they the might be aiming. In America. You think they might be aiming for like a TV deal or something? Try to like actually bake some bread, bread off this NXT UK? They could probably do something with BT Sport. I don't, I don't know exactly what's on BT Sport well, all the time, but I'm sure they got a slot somewhere. Well, it seems like the relationship end, ended. I don't see BT Sport uh, really sharing WWE stuff anymore. Yeah. Well, the, yeah. The, well, that building they were in was owned by BT Sport, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Are they waiting for was, them to get a new it, building? It, it was, <laughs> I think, it like the BT Sport, like arena, not arena, but like whatever hall, whatever the fuck that is, thing it was. Oh, okay. Uh well, I'm not. Uh, it's not like I'm gonna really watch NXT Europe. I might check it out like every now and then. You know, you go tap in. I'm gonna put TL, you on. You know, I'm gonna. T- you know, I'm gonna watch it. T- t- TL recommendations and such. Um, where's Aaliyah yeah, James a- at? That's what I want to know. Talk to me about that. Uh, Noam Darhouse, ain't she? She with me, baby. She's not with you, bro. She you wouldn't me. be asking if you knew. Uh, I just want that was me trying to like you know soft nah, launch our relationship. Nah, <laughs> hit, hit him over the head right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, 
we got some other news items. Uh, what, what, uh, what is this collision corner that I'm seeing here? All right. Well, I put this on the dock. I just, I had some uh, quick thoughts about collision. I did watch this, this past, uh, this past okay. Saturday. Well, I watched it on Sunday. I watched it the next day. I was not watching money in the bank and then collision right <laughs> after that's just, that's just too much. I couldn't do that. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I just want to, we're in week three of collision. To me, I know you said it didn't really feel that much different to you. I think to me, the show feels um, a lot a lot more grounded. You know what I mean? It's very, very much wrestling-based, which is a positive and a negative for me. Um, mm-hmm. Just a positive. I think it, it's a good showcase to get a lot of guys over and get some more people who are in ring time. And it's just cool to see that, you know, guys we haven't seen in a long time, as if um, Andrade or Amiro. Okay, and so for the da- for, for like the downside of it though, it's like these matches are extremely long for no reason. Uh, Juice Robinson and Ricky Starks had an Owen Hart uh, tournament match. It's about fifteen minutes. It feels like twenty five. It's so uninteresting. And it's just like man, this is really really slow. And I feel like every single week they've done this show, they've had matches that just went way too way too long. Um, this one, Juice Robinson and Ricky Starks for sure were just like okay. Let's get this over with. Um, also, MJF working a match against Ethan Page. Uh, he defended his championship. Kind of, it's very rare AEW does a, a championship defense like that where it just kind of like out of the blue. Uh, yeah, no, no, no eliminator. It, yeah, it was just like bam. He, he like he's like I, I challenged anybody for a match, and then Ethan Page came out. He basically like turned face. I guess that was his hometown. Um, uh, I don't know if he's faced for good, but the match was decent. It was just really interesting to see MJF just have a title match like that. Also, last thing, Dustin Rhodes versus Powerhouse Hobbs. I don't know who 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 was the agent for this match. There's no reason Dustin Rhodes should be kicking out at one on Powerhouse Hobbs' uh, power slam. That is ridiculous. You just first of all, you just did the one the one count kick out a week before that. So why would you mm-hmm. do that again the next week? It kind of like diminishes it for me. Also, why are Dustin Rhodes doing that? What, hey man. <laughs> uh, what, is, what is he like 60 years old what does he gain doing that i and, just thought and, that was, and then uh, aew will turn around and tell you yeah man we're building new talent i swear yeah um how Hobbs did win the match but i'm just like why why did we do that also i noticed it for all the owen owen matches so far they've really gone out of the way to make like every match feel like super duper ec- epic with, like these, these like big kick outs uh-huh we're like for like the Owen Hart tournament, it just seems like every match they're trying to do. Like I felt like you know we'll get into dynamite, but like the Britt Baker Ruby Solo match, like why was <laughs> why did they make Britt, why did they make Britt Baker like John Cena out there? <laughs> like that 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 match wasn't even long. It was just overbooked. Yeah, they went they went crazy to really make Britt Baker look strong in that match, strong in defeat. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> it was just man three on one. Got hit headed with the uh, title belt. All the cheating, you know, uh, like that. That like I don't even care if I'm a heel, bro. That's not a win that I'm like, yeah, I fucking did it, bro. Because <laughs> ain't no yeah, fucking way. I, I I don't know, but yeah, that's that's just kind of my thoughts on Collision. Three weeks in, I do enjoy it more than Dynamite so far, but I think that's just because it's new. So I kind of I'll I'll come back to this maybe in a month and we can talk about how I still feel about Collision. I would ask you, but I'm assuming you didn't watch. Uh, the only thing I've like watched from Collision recently was uh, Brody King versus uh, Andrade, and I thought it was okay. That that's about it. I'm I'm for one thing's for damn sure. I do like Andrade's matches on uh, Collision. He's uh, he has not missed so far for me at least. Yeah, Andrade looks a lot more motivated now than he did, you know, yeah. before before his time off. Uh, Roddy Roddy versus Joe was uh it was decent. It was pretty good. I get what did I give it? I gave it um I gave it three and a half. It was a fine match. I, I was waiting for a uh how 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 would I say it? Um I, I was waiting for the VOD, bruh, because um I didn't want to watch the YouTube version. I wanted to watch the full thing. Oh, for the match, got gotcha. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, it was cool. All right, and then uh, they're gonna do Punk versus Joe this week, right? Correct. I'll entertain it. Uh, but yeah, um, other things that I wanted to get your uh, 
<laughs> this time we could both share our thoughts and yeah. it is on aew fight forever um you took notes they, right i remember i think i saw you take notes yeah I, I i do i do have some notes on my uh in my little private discord but um let me pull those up actually uh i don't <laughs> i don't have much notes um mo- mo- most of my notes were uh are from playing online with you which you can see um tomorrow i will be putting this episode up alongside um the stream where we played the game um you want to want to start with the positive first and then we'll get to the negatives yeah of course um okay i i will actually start with the positives um there's a lot of cool things that you could do in this game that isn't uh that isn't present in WWE 2K and two two the two things that I that's like a highlight for me is when you're on the outside you could like do high spots off the uh off the guardrail. Yeah I thought that was cool I, figuring that out. I that thought out I did it. Yeah that was really fucking cool. Um and when I'm forgetting the words but like when you're slammed onto a ladder or a table, there's a like there's a visual effect that happens to show like oh that did like a lot of impact. I'm not sure yeah, if like damage is like a zoom in. Yeah, yeah I, I'm not sure if like damage is like you know multiplied or is just like a cool effect. But like yeah. I I do wish that WWE 2K did that as well because playing with Mark and Justin, there's been uh, a many a times where we do some shit and it's like oh on the ladder, but like it doesn't matter. It does. Yeah, it doesn't look. It doesn't yeah, look any like, different. Well, like, like it, it, it'll look cool. Like your body would be ragdolled and all that shit, but it's not like it did any extra damage, you know? Yeah. Um. So, like, that's whatever. Um. Yeah, that's about it for me. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna be honest. Uh. It. Okay. Okay. For uh for for the middle of the road, this is not a negative, but like for the middle of the road stuff, like. It's j- like I wouldn't say it's just as janky, but it is janky like playing a wrestling video game. Like there's not much polish there. And that's not like a that's not like a knock, but it's just like it plays like a wrestling game. Yeah, I mean it's definitely a wrestling game for sure. It's, um I think hmm. I you know what when we me and you played, I thought we had a good time. At yeah, least I uh, did. I had a good. I had a good time playing. I had a blast um, playing. Uh, I could. I after we played the first time, like I think that Friday. Yeah. Um, I tried to play a match against a computer, and I just wasn't having fun. That's where I was gonna go. But I don't. I mean, I don't think if I, if I were to compare it to something, I don't think it's like I don't think two K's single player experience is actually like all that enthralling either. I yeah. did like mess with, I did find like somebody like has some different sliders to make the uh, matches against the computer a little more competitive, and it does. Um, but as far as AEW Fight Forever goes, this is like really it's very uninteresting just going one on one with a computer. Is this is very much a game like you want to play with friends if you're someone who doesn't really play online with friends or a lot. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Um, like uh, I- I'll say this: like it- it's not. Is is not exactly the same, and nor nor are the games in the same genre. But like, you wouldn't play Mario Party alone, would you? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, like, like you can, but like, like but you're not gonna not, have nearly as much fun as playing with somebody else. It's it's very much a party game. This is a game like if you had a bunch of people yeah. over, like, hey, I want to play something, and you can just you know do stupid shit and like throw propane tanks and shit or whatever. So in that aspect, I think they got that right. Um, but if we want to get into like things I just didn't like, I think while the matches were fun, the selling or like the lack of like it's very sporadic. Like sometimes you'll hit a finisher, like the person will get right back up, and then sometimes you won't get you won't get up at all. Yeah. Um, uh, the pin no, submission system, I don't I don't like at all. Terrible. There's no there's no way to know like. If you even like, is it is it a waste of your time to even yeah. mash buttons um, like that for for submissions? Just just to like you know add context or clarity, um, when you're doing a submission in 2K, um, you could make the submission harder for somebody to get out of. Of course, yeah. you know, like you want to keep somebody in the submission, so you do a little mini game. You know, you fight back and forth or whatever. 
in Five Forever, you put somebody in a submission and the game will just tell you, just mash and figure it out. But if you're doing a submission, it just says, just chill out. Yeah, you just kind of chill in there. Um, and then same for uh, pin attempts. You know, uh, uh, um, there's a clear mini game that you could visualize and see in 2K, but for AEW Five Forever, it just says just mash and pray, mash all yeah, the buttons and, more, and pray. And more than likely, if you got your finisher hit on you, if your if your little meter is in like danger or like in blue, you're losing the match. There's no real way. <laughs> there's no real way out of it. Yeah, honestly, so, I, it it, the match, it might as well do like a two. Uh, what is it? It might as well do like a Def Jam fight for New York shit. If you're in danger, you get hit with the finisher. It just says over. KO or some shit. Yeah, like fuck it. There's no real yeah. point. So the matches can be pretty short if someone gets to finish it really quick. Uh, also, the lack of variety. I've heard people say, like, yeah, they're going to add stuff or whatever. But that stuff takes time. And if, you know, in the meantime, there's just not a lot to it. As far as customization goes, they sh- I don't even know why they wasted their time putting that yeah. in there. That's that was that's like that's like embarrassingly like there's nothing there. Even like I know they compared the game No Mercy a lot. Even though Mercy ha- has more options as far as like creative character goes than this game does, They're, like that's inexcusable. Like I yeah. SmackDown, if I play SmackDown too, I got more options than that. You know, like there's no reason you should even put something out like that. Um, I have not. I only did like maybe like ten minutes of the uh, the career mode, and I, people have people have said it's really short. So I just like I wanted to do the road to road to the elite so fucking bad. But after I did that one match against the CPU, just like a, like a random exhibition, just to, you know, probably learn some new controls or, you know, find out some new stuff about the game. And I was just like, this sucks. It yeah. really sucks. Like, if you're not playing with a friend, it really sucks. Like, at, for, at least from my experience when playing other two uh playing 2k games i don't do the uh you know i don't do the my rise i i actually do don't think that is i don't really think it's too great but i do think it's just as wacky as people try to uh make the road to the elite seem like uh the one for 2k uh 2k19 where you get signed mm-hmm. to nxt and then somebody beats your ass backstage so they pull your contract yeah <laughs> and then in nxt they use that for storyline. <laughs> They be wilding out with the storylines on CK. <laughs> I like. I think that shit's extremely funny. The, the, like uh, this, this, this one. They, 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 they like give you a gimmick, and it's gimmick so garbage that they like fire you. And you yeah. got to come back. It's really um, funny, actually. IGN put out a video version of their review, um, and I get it. But they said the uh, the road to the elite, like it is, uh, is. It's um it's based off like win rate or whatever, you know, wins and losses and shit. Yeah, it's, it's I, very similar to No Mercy, like branching paths if you lose or win. I I wanted to do that and just be a straight fucking jobber and see how it goes. So uh I might pick it up just to do that because I actually don't want to play against CPU. So I'd rather just lay down and take a pin. Um but yeah, man, it it, it don't it don't necessarily feel too good. We harped on how the game looks for a really long time. It don't look it it, it don't look good. It still don't. This fin- finished version does not look good. Um, some some character models are alright. Some character models are just like terrifying. Some some are better than <laughs> others, but some yeah. like but generally they're all like not great in my opinion. Um, and something that I wanted to add into the good column that we didn't talk about. But when we did it, we were like, wow, the chain wrestling. That's good. Yeah. That's, good. that's yeah, good stuff. No, the, that's the good chain stuff. wrestling is good. That is good. That's, that's yeah, good I remember stuff. when like 2K had chain wrestling. I didn't like it. I think I like, you could like turn it off. I'm pretty sure I turned it off. Right. But I preferred this version of the, of the chain wrestling. It, it, it does work really well. The chain wrestling um, in this shit is good. But sometimes it is weird because, you know, you, you do your little chain wrestling at the start of the match or whatever. You know, we, we booked the match however we wanted. And then at the point where, okay, I want to beat the shit out this nigga. You, we're, we're, we're doing goddamn, we, we turn into world of sport. <laughs> yeah, we're doing an exploding uh, barbed wire match. <laughs> we're, yeah, really doing, and, we're doing takeover headlocks and shit. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, no, I just want to grab you and just fucking throw you. Is that like so hard? And like, yes, it is. Um, 
just going back to some of the bads, I don't like how um, in some game modes, your um, some of your abilities or some of your options are like significantly like weaker. Like in the bob wire, like if you did a Irish whip in a normal match, it acts normally. But if you do it in the exploding bob wire, it acts completely different. I didn't really like that. Um, that's just a nitpick on my part, but I I, I didn't really enjoy that too much. Yeah, um, no, I I get it though. And then uh, just for uh, in that IGN review, they mentioned that like yes, it's like No Mercy with the reversal and the blocking thing, with R one on if you're on PlayStation, R one being uh, or top trigger uh, top right trigger, that will be your your block button, and then you could parry with it if you hit the right timing. But in his interview for L L one. He said that you could hold it if you want to reverse grapples. Yes, L one was the was the grapple. You could just hold yeah. it. I don't think you can hold it. I think you had like press it like right before. Okay, because he if, said if you... it's like no mercy, no mercy, you had to do it like right at the right time. Okay, I, I'm I'm just going off the interview. It's not a knock on the game or anything like that. But you say you could just hold it. I don't think so. I'm gonna try that, <laughs> and if it works, you're fucking cooked. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think so, bro. Um, I don't, I don't, but yeah, if, but as far as like, if, if, if you were looking to get into it, this is just my opinion. Of course, it's your money. Do what you want. And if you're a big enough fan of AEW, you want to get it. You have faith in the game, whatever. But as far as like, if you're just a casual gamer or like, you're not like a super duper fan of AEW, but you want to check it out. I personally would just wait for it to go on sale. I think the content that they gave us was not enough to justify the $60 price tag. Um, in yeah. my opinion. Trust me, fall sale, winter sale. If you're still like, if if you are an AEW fan or you're like really interested in the game, I would cop it. Um, I know some people who has for like friends who are big AEW fans and they just game shared the game with them uh, on PlayStation. That's fine. You could do that too. I I honestly can't say this is worth uh sixty. Um, and then we we even pre order like we got our pre order bonuses like last minute, and I don't even think those are worth it. Um, I can't really see a whole. I can't really see them having like seasons or like the the uh, the like the four packs that like two K. Uh, what is it? Two K twenty three does. I'm, they said the, they said they're gonna. We'll see. I know this is AEW's first run around, but it's not like they're yearly. So like. We'll see what happens there, but like oh, also I, I was so t- I was so tired of seeing that online. This is their first game. This is their first game. Like, bro, they're 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 like omitting stuff that's been in like wrestling games since like the PlayStation era. Yeah, like the PS one era stuff. Like, dog, you know this is Ukes, right? The people that have been <laughs> making the same game for fucking ever, right? Yeah, th- I don't want to hear this is their first game nonsense. Yeah, but like th- this is AEW's first game. This is not Ukes' first game. But I would, uh, I, I just wanted to say that, um, you know, I don't see a, you know, another AEW video game for a while. So, like, 2K is going to be ahead of the game every time. Like, I'm sure that, you know, people at the 2K office are looking at some of the stuff that they put in, some of the actual cool shit that they put in. And it's just like, okay, we're going to take that and just make it better. For sure. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure two K twenty four. We're we're gonna be able to do those, uh, you know, um, whatever shooting star press off the fucking barricade and shit. Um, yeah, uh, and we haven't heard anything about the sales of the game yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be bad. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> like, I I didn't hear. I haven't heard too much buzz about it. Since this weekend, I haven't really seen too much about it. I the, personally, this weekend it came out. Anybody like I don't know anybody on like uh Twitter that like you know people that are sharing like screenshots and shit like that. Those people that I've seen sharing the screenshots and whatnot, they're journalists or like you know they work at publications of some sort. So I feel like they got review copies, you know, yeah. copies off the strength. Like I don't think they're really playing that shit for real. Um. But I haven't seen any just like, you know, regular folks like playing the game and such. Um, 
Yeah, we're all, but we're also in our own Twitter bubble. So I mean, who knows? Maybe yeah. the, no, I'm maybe, just, I'm, maybe the all out community is bigger. <laughs> yeah, I I can't say like if you're just like AO, let's let's hop on, you know, let let's hop on AEW streaming on Twitch real quick. I'd be like, sure, fuck it, you know. But I I can't play this game solo. But I I'm gonna I'm gonna do the Road to the Elite and just be a jobber and see where it goes. Um, so yeah, uh, games game is fun ish. Um, six out of ten. I agree with the uh, Metacritic. Uh, IGN, but yes, uh, I, I, well, I Metacr- well. Metacritic says sixty two, I think, or something like that. So that's okay, fun. yeah, it's just about. Um, and like, what is it? I remember, I remember having a lot of fun. Like, I, I remember having a lot of fun on WWE, like two K nineteen, uh, two K twenty one. No, there wasn't. Uh, there wasn't a twenty one. Uh, twenty two. No, they missed a year. It, it's two. Yeah, it's they two, did. They skipped. They skipped two K twenty one. It was twenty one because two K twenty was garbage. Yeah. Um. Yeah, nineteen to the one that we have now. Like, if I wanted to play single player, I don't play with the computer. I like I, I do the simulation. Uh, with uh. What is it? Uh, my universe. I got. I got to send you the sliders. The sliders makes a difference. I. I have a. I have a lot of fun on uh, my universe booking the whole show or whatever. And I, I feel like this show. I feel like this game probably should have had something like that. You would think. I. I, I would have uh, had the notebook that Tony Khan showed on uh, All Access. <laughs> I feel I feel like both games. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I feel like the creative pay per view option just should be a thing. Still, you can just book your own card or whatever, or just yeah, whatever. Be yeah. the booker type shit. That would have been cool. Like not necessarily my GM, but at least like a my universe. Yeah, a season mode. Yeah, that like that. that I that, feel that doable. That would have been fine with me. Um, yeah, and that, that that's really all my thoughts on uh, Fight Forever. Um, the VOD of the stream will be going up the same time as, as the episode, as I feel like I said earlier. Um, that'll be available to the Patreon. And then uh, it's not like we can hide the link. So we're going to make it a public post. Like, even if you're not a subscriber, you can listen to it. I, I mean, uh, you, you can watch it. And just honestly, you can see the fun that we're having. Like, we're laughing, we're joking, all sorts of shit. So I can't say, like, the game is like, awful or terrible you know we had a good time um, you can hear the story yeah. about how i got assaulted in a bathroom this week you, last weekend you, yeah you, you you can hear about that as well <laughs> um, one time that's not really not really a selling point but <laughs> no, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a story about you know be aware of your surroundings i guess i don't know yeah be aware of your surroundings be careful if there's somebody around you that really likes aew uh because this episode the, of AEW the, is not good. Mm. Let's talk I'm, about it. I'm not gonna argue. Um, okay. The first match I had on the docket, I can't talk about because I went to go use the bathroom because I had to use the bathroom. Um, but it is Adam Cole, MJF, and I'm pretty sure that they defeated uh Blind tag team of Butcher and Daddy Mac or Daddy Magic, whatever the motherfucker's name Daddy is. Mac. Daddy Mac is from Criss Cross. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. you. Know, do you, know, you never heard Jump I, Jump? I know, I know Criss Cross, bro. I was making sure. I know you're a little younger than me. I just wanted to make sure you knew Criss Cross. Good song. That's a good song. Mm-hmm. I can hold you. You I, never hear you'll never hear that song again. Came on, came on my shuffle the other day. <laughs> this is a good song. Uh, um the match the match itself though it was a uh, a lot of it was a lot of mgf shtick uh the story was mgf was trying to like the whole story this whole through line has been like mgf trying to be buddy buddy with adam cole so he didn't so he didn't have to wrestle him or whatever so there's a lot of jokey joke stuff um the match was nothing nothing exciting i think that the blade is a great worker um matt menard is matt menard so you're gonna get what you're gonna get with that. Um, yeah, that was kind of it. I think the more important thing about this match was the post match stuff. Whatever that was, uh, did you see that at least? Yes, I, I saw that. Oh. I saw the <laughs> I saw the whole birthday stuff, and 
what is lost on me is that Adam Cole did not wish for a title shot. Yeah. Why would you not wish for that? So we need to stop with this silly, you know, whatever this tournament is, because no matter how this thing gets booked, it's not going to end smartly or well. Yeah. Um, e- like even what what is it? I remember uh you remember I, I feel like it was Austin Aries and uh it was Austin Aries in NXT, it was Austin Aries and I think Roger Strong, where uh oh it might have been no, it was Bobby Roode and Ty Dillinger, where Bobby Roode just left the match and was just yeah, like fuck it, I don't want to do this. <laughs> yeah, if MJF does that, it's stupid. I'm sorry. Especially since he wants to be, you know, friends and all this stuff. And then, you know, I, I guess, you know, uh, what happened in this segment will, like, make him turn. But, like, dog, let's just cut the bullshit, bro. Drop out of the tournament or something. <laughs> Even the drop out. <laughs> just, just straight up drop out. Because I put it I put it in the Discord that you could join for $25 on Patreon. Oh, $20 on the Patreon. I said, L- look at the routes where this goes. They make it all the way. And then they win against FTR and they're like, they're double champs or whatever. And then, you know, Adam Cole is going to still want that title, right? Yo, you think, you think they're going to do that storyline? No, 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 uh, no, no, no. The enemies become tag champions? Well, like, that that's a possibility. I don't think that's necessarily good. Or. I hope they wouldn't do they, that. They face, they face FTR and lose. And then they turn on each other. Let's just get out. Let's just get the turn out of the way now. Which I feel like I mean, we we we, we, we got tonight. We got a we got a ways to go until uh, Wembley. Yeah, yeah. But then there's the other option of Cole and MJF don't even make it to the finals, but they lose to just some makeshift tag team to continue their single feud. What sense does that make? I'd have to let that play out because I think the story. Would, I would have to see what the story is going to that loss to see what would, if that would make sense or not. I, th- I think there's I think there's a way you can do that and it makes sense, but you gotta be like kind of creative with it. I'm I'm curious how they get here or you know get back to them wanting to do a singles match because yeah. I just feel like doing this whole you know this whole rigmarole with the blind tag team thing isn't really necessarily cool because I don't think it's making them look necessarily strong either. You're just beating up makeshift tag teams. Like people thought that a, a tag team of butcher and daddy magic was gonna be a thing. Yeah, no, I agree there. Yeah. Also, there's no yeah. bracket for this thing, so I mean, teams are still getting announced as as we speak. So yeah, like it's ridiculous. It's like who who, I, who arrived in Canada uh, in, in this town in Canada today? You're a tag team now. A lot, there's a lot of tournaments going on. There's three, there's three concurrent tournaments going on right now as we speak. Yeah, in um, AW, which I think is interesting. And you know how I feel about a bra- uh, a tournament with no bracket. Yeah, it upsets you greatly. It's I. It's poorly planned. That's exactly what it is. And NXT, they 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 uh, saved themselves. They were doing it a lot, and I think they've been better about it. Mm-hmm. Because it's just like okay, they defeated Butcher and whoever. Now who do they face next? We don't know. Oh, uh, that's a surprise. It's battle. It's battle ball, baby. <laughs> Whatever battle ball is, I don't like it. <laughs> I got it. I don't like this idea, but I'm pretty Battle sure Ball, the fucking right? I'm pretty sure the talent in Battle Bowl are way better than this blind eliminator, whatever bullshit. I don't know. Who knows? Let me look up. Know about that. Let, let me look up Battle Bowl right now and see uh, who was in that. What comes up? Now I want to see who that was in it. Because Battle Bowls, uh, <laughs> all right, Vader, Cactus Jack, Battle Bowl um, double WCW. Yeah. Okay, I was just making sure I type. I mean, this one got uh, not really. I stay steamboat. The Shockmaster was in it. <laughs> Come on, man, stop playing, man. They got they got Ric Flair, Steve Austin, Rick Rude, Dustin, uh, Dustin Rhodes, Sting, Two Cold Scorpio. <laughs> Come on, Bob man. Bagwell, Vader, and Cactus Jack. And you saying, eh? I don't really think they got niggas. Come on, man. I mean, they did. Yo, that... <laughs> these are these are these are some fucking tag teams, brother. Kane, like Kane, Kane. 
I thought oh, I, I no, was like, no, no, no. No, it's, it's Stevie, Stevie Ray, Ray, Stevie Ray, Stevie Ray. Okay. <laughs> I saw that yeah. too. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> the, the, the tag team of fucking Ricky Steamboat and Lord Steven Regal. Dog, this tournament does have does not have anybody of that caliber, bro. Te- technical boys. You know really? Ron, technical boys. Ron Simmons and Keith Cole. I have no idea who they are, but Ron Simmons, that's fire, bro. Keith Cole, the Cole twins. I'm not familiar with their game. <laughs> I'm I'm extremely unfamiliar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but nah, like. I, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a big fan of this uh, battle bull whole thing. Uh, kind of terrible shit going on. Um, next, we got our main event because nothing, <laughs> nothing else is really uh, a long or you know big match on the show. Uh, Kenny Omega looking to get his win back on Wheeler Yuta after pinning him at uh, was the Anarchy in Arena or was the Stadium Stampede? I, I don't know. It was Anarchy in Arena. Okay. Um, this match is something. This match goes on a really long time, and I'm curious what this does for Kenny Omega, especially with the very convoluted ending. Um, I don't. Uh, we we are in uh, the Wheeler uh, Wheeler Yuta experiment two, and I am not sure why we are. They're trying, man. Um, Moxley's not going to be around for a little while, so I guess Wheeler Yuta got to step up. Where Moxley going? Oh, well, why did I think he was he's not in the G1? That's right. I'm I'm bugging. He will not he isn't he is currently in Japan right now, but he's not in the G1. Oh, okay. So um, um speaking of Moxley, so we could just get it out of the way, he was talking some stuff about Eddie Kingston, who won the New Japan Strong uh open weight title. Um I think Moxley I gotta, might take that shit from him. <laughs> I got I got a hot take. I think um Eddie Kingston would be better off if he just went to New Japan full time. Oh, of course, yeah, no. I think that's, that's not even a hot take. Remember. I know, I know, he's insanely over in AEW, so it'd be silly for Tony Khan for him to do, let him go. But like, you know, doing I, shit with I, the Super Bowl. I think, Omega, I so. think, I think the environment. Um, they yeah, just, friend, dude, they loved them. They were, they were all, they were all for Kirk and Hall cheering. They, yeah, they, that was a big pop. Yeah, just uh, yeah. like if you're not gonna really book him anything, just just let him be in New Japan. Fuck it. Like, I feel like New Japan or New Japan Strong, whatever, sh- like, should be where your people go instead of ROH, honestly. Yeah, free to Lucha Bros. <laughs> yeah, they, they can... Uh, free my guys. They could be in some makeshift tag team in Japan. People wanted them in Japan in so long, but Lucha Underground really fucking fucked that up. Oh, the weird contract. They couldn't do anything. Oh, every... <laughs> Everybody had the slave contract. They, they there, couldn't bro. do nothing. Nobody could do anything, bro. Yeah. Um, as soon as, as soon as that contract ran up, Pentagon got to go to um, Impact. It was all up. It was all up from then. Yeah, Ricochet got his opportunity to come to the E, and everybody else got just went back to other promotions in Mexico and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, but okay. Quick hits. Sorry, there's not much on the show for real. Not even like a lot of promos or anything outside of like the Chris Jericho joint. Yeah, Jericho, it was Jericho promo and the MJF promo, really. Yeah. Um, oh, MJF. you know, well, you know what else we missed? Uh, uh, MJ, uh, no, excuse me, uh, Adam Cole and uh, MJF at the at the gym. Oh yeah, That's um, a, that that felt so NXT to me. I was such an NXT ass promo. Like, oh yeah, the whole it, was, it was even shot like an NXT promo. Yeah, it felt like uh, what's my man's name from uh, Impact that does all the videos now. Borash, um, Jeremy. It felt like Jeremy Borash was like he produced that uh, himself or something. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, it, it it definitely felt that way. Um, very impact. Very felt. Very impact. NXT ish. Yeah. Um. <laughs> did you see Adam Cole, Adam Cole arms shaking as he took it? Uh, he took the shit off the uh off uh he took the weights off the rest. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm calling cap on on that uh, on that bench press. I ain't gonna hold you. I feel like I feel they, like uh they zoomed in crazy, bro. That the them three plates on each side. I don't think he's hitting that, bro. Yeah, they, they, I seen I seen that man. I seen that man burn chest. You know what I mean? <laughs> he ain't doing all that. They made sure to they, get that zoom in, and I, I I saw that I saw I saw that shit leaning a little bit, boy. I can't say that. I be I be sometimes I be I be wobbling for me too. Sometimes I can't even talk shit. I can't even talk. <laughs> Come on, shit. I be wobbling oh. too. <laughs> hey man, fight for my I, life on that bench. I might be like that too, but I'm man enough to say, "Hey, yo, less weights." 
I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to fake it and do a, do a super zoom in, bro. <laughs> Yeah, the way um, you're repping those, I don't believe it. That's cap. Yeah. Um, sorry. Uh, about to sneeze. But uh, quick hits. Uh, we got Orange Cassidy, Darby Allen uh, defeating Keith Lee and Swerve. You know what? I uh, I like this match. I did have some things I didn't like about it. I thought. It was very, it was very much action packed, just like move after move after move, which was cool. I just kind of, I don't, I'm not expecting like some epic grand sell of the moves, but I kind of wish they sold a little bit more. I would have liked this match a lot more if they would have yeah. sold like there's a big tower of doom spot, which I figured you know maybe they would sell it for a little bit. They got they after that spot they went right to the next spot like immediately. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, I kind of wish they would have sold that a little bit more. And I, I noticed that happened. I remember I used to complain about the same thing back when um, Keith Lee and Swear beat the tag before. Where they don't sell their shit, at w- especially Swerve, and it really bothers me. Um, also, Darby Allen's a maniac, bro. <laughs> he is no, no I, selling I, maniac. I, I, what, at what point does Tony Khan say, no, you can't do that, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> Why would you have Keith Lee stand on top of you? <laughs> with this? And it, I know that was his idea, too. <laughs> yeah. And then what is it? Then he was in the ring go, running at Keith Lee full sprint just a couple minutes later. Yeah, the vibes. <laughs> it's always you know the vibes, huh? Um, he's, a, he's a CWB man, crazy white boy. So it's different. They got they got a different kind of t- pain tolerance. Ain't none of them. It's him and Julius Creed. They're in a different breed. Shit, at least Julius Creed will fucking sell. Um, yeah, like w- what is a minor problem for you is kind of major for me because I feel like nobody was selling in this match except like Orange Cassie, maybe. Um. Like, well, nah, I'm, I'm going to quote Orange Cassidy, too, because Orange Cassidy's big story that everybody keeps telling me is better than Roman's is that he's fucking tired. Who the fuck said a better than Roman story? There's a lot of motherfuckers that are weird. Um, uh, they're, they're saying that this fantastic story about him, about his body hurting and stuff like that, and he's not selling at all in this match. I'm, I'm, I'm so confused here. And then also, you know, the... the uh, the match going spot for spot, it's kind of just what I expected, but I, I, I just expected it to be, I, I feel, I, I thought would it would be better paced. So that's all. Uh, I don't have much to say about the match besides that. Bro, are they saving that Keith Lee swear match for Wembley? Are we, <laughs> you know what's crazy? When they showed the um the little replay of the damn, the spot where Swear broke the cinder block on Keith Lee, <laughs> that, shit did, that shit said December. <laughs> we are in July. <laughs> Why yeah, have they not like, had a match yet? <laughs> I'm, I I don't care for that feud. Like, it can happen at Wembley. I'll just be glad for them to get it out the way. Please, at this point. What are we doing? Next, uh, we got Britt Baker versus uh, Ruby Soho. Um, Ruby wins. We brief, yeah, we briefly spoke on it. And just like, yeah, it was, what is it? You know, so they had to make Britt make that strong? I just don't understand. And then they they all ran uh, like all of uh, the outcasts ran from Britt Baker as if they didn't just fuck her over, hit her with a bell shot, and then pinned her. And then they ran like she was gonna get up and do something. Yeah. <laughs> you outnumber her, beat her ass. Fuck it. Um, I hope Jamie Hader comes back soon, man. Not that she would fix yeah. this, but just wish she was around. <laughs> Uh, Jericho promo. Excuse you. You good? No. Sneezing again? <laughs> yes. Um, Jericho comes out. Um, cuts a face promo because, of course, we're in Canada. Um, we're in Edmonton, Canada, where he's from. Yeah. Um, they from Winnipeg? So, They're not in Edmonton, right? Right. Crack, crack is. Jim. I think. It, I think his career. I think his career started in in uh, Edmonton. Okay. That's what he said. I'm just going to go. Well, I remember Google Googling Chris Jericho before, and he says he was born in Manhattan. Yeah, no, he was born in New York because his dad played uh, his dad played hockey in, in New York. <laughs> but he grew up in Winnipeg. I'm not yeah, mistaken. of course. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, sorry. Probably not to sneeze. Um, but yeah, he, he cuts a really uh, – this is a good face promo, you know, for somebody I uh, – 
first time and then he says you know i'm willing to be the i'm i'm, I'm going to be the best version of chris jericho or whatever um and I, <laughs> I was just like boy it's a little too late for that and then uh <clears throat> what's the best jericho oh man best jericho 2008 probably uh i would have to see that 2008 run <laughs> excuse me oh but, okay you weren't watching that's true you weren't watching yeah the 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 best the Jericho to me, ninety seven, uh, yeah, and uh, kind of leading up to like his final days and um, like his final like I would say like his final year like final days in WCW I felt like they were really good even though you know, he was cooking, yeah, he <laughs> yeah. was cooking uh, creatively, fun stuff. Yeah, I know they, you know, I know people always talk about like when um. I feel like him jumping ship doesn't get talked about enough in, in the Monday Night War situation. That was like a big deal. Uh, Jericho well, switched over to Raw. From all the stuff that I've seen, uh, also I would like to say uh, 96 to 98 Jericho is my favorite, but mm-hmm. I would pro- I would have to get myself familiar with um, 2008. But uh, when when I like started getting into wrestling, you know, I'm doing all my deeper knowledge and all my stuff. Uh, I, I remember Chris Jericho um, when I came back. So Chris Jericho was like another name that I remembered very, uh, very slightly. Um, but like whenever I was like looking at stuff <clears throat> on YouTube, they always talked about his like debut with The Rock being like something very like, you know, it, it was a big moment. I, it was a moment. I don't, that was. I, I don't. I don't think they felt like it was like a huge turning point into the Monday Night Wars. But um, well, I mean, to be fair, they were already whooping WCW's ass by then. Like it was. Yeah. It was pretty much over by that point. Yeah, yeah, it, it was pretty much over at that point. But what it really like, um, in, in the death death of WCW book, um, it wasn't like that turning point that like flipped ratings or whatever. But like, it definitely flipped company morale in WCW where people felt like, oh, if Je- Chris Jericho, like uh, all the cruiserweights that was being like undercut or cut at the knees by the NWO, they were just like, you know, if Chris Jericho could get that look, well, you know, with a main eventer like The Rock, and we're fucking struggling to, re- you know, really get anything cracking on TV because all this NWO shit, we should probably like, you know, <laughs> we should start packing our fucking bags and trying to transition over. Um, also, you know what else about the Jericho thing that everyone talked about? It was like the first like big like internet smarky thing, like the, the first big one. Like people were like <laughs> like people knew before it was before it like they debuted him. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everybody had already like it was like a really bad kept secret. It's like Jericho coming to WBF. Now it's like yeah. one of the first like big internet rumors or like breaking news. I remember that much. Yeah, so that's interesting. So- yeah, it was a good time. But yeah, uh, I think it's too late for him to be the best iteration of himself. Um, un- unless he could truly turn back the clock and get his body back. Uh, the father time whooping his ass on that one. And you know, it, it wasn't really... Uh, even though father time is whooping his ass, like, appearance-wise, like, last year, I, I-, I was sort of down on it, but, like, uh, looking... Um, he was working. If we're talking yeah, strictly was- in-ring, he was working last year. I- it was yeah, a really good well, year for him. No, what well, what well, I'm not sure if it was last year or the uh 2021, like uh when he was going through the Jer uh what is it when he was going through the MJF gauntlet, the trials of Jericho or trials of whatever the fuck. Yeah, the trials of MJF. Uh, outside of like the Hoovy, uh, the Hoovy match, which picks up at the end, um, and the Nick Gage match that had no chance of being good, um. You know, he, he he was doing some cool sh- uh he had some cool matches. Uh I just I just don't think he will have like, you know, I don't think he's like having great matches, you know, no. uh anymore. Maybe the days like, are over. That's um fine. Don Callis comes out, boo boo to hell. Mm-hmm. And uh Don Callis offers uh Chris Jericho a spot in his family and then chris jericho goes you know i don't join factions i make them so my answer is maybe <laughs> you know and my and my thing is one of those. why are you even hard considering because what's gonna happen with the jsh if he joins uh if you join i mean y'all, y'all J- just merge js is kind of <laughs> low-key kind of dead anyway 
Hager's around sometimes. Sammy, he seems like he's going to be a face sooner than later. And then Danny, I mean, Sam, uh, Danny Garcia just kind of, you know, he's, he's there. <laughs> I don't know what else is really, I mean, yeah. Matt Menard I, and, Daddy, and Daddy Magic. I, kinda... tr- trust me, Quan. I would not bat an eye if the JSH died today. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just saying, like, he already has a faction. And my he thing is, is that Don Callis doesn't even mention, like, you know, bring on Chris Jericho and you could bring the appreciators with you or something like that. Um, what the niggas? Well, Jericho <laughs> seemed like you're trying to get I rid agree. of him anyway. So I agree. But, um, <laughs> and like commentary doesn't even like talk about it at the end of the thing either. They just go, Oh, wow. You know? Well, they did do the, the promo with, uh, G- uh, Guevara and Garcia, like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> and then they also found out they're going to be a tag team in the, in the blonde tournament. So Guevara and who? And, um, Garcia. I mean, they're already a tag team before. Hey, man, this should not yeah. get in, this should not blind enough for me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's really not, this is the most unblind. <laughs> yeah, like come on, man. Blind tag team ever. Every, every every tag team would be conveniently like in a feud or like somehow involved with each other. Yeah, you you just want you just want me to believe that you got Oris Cassidy and Darby Allen as a team when they tagged last week, and then you have Keith Lee and Swerve that used to be a tag team, and it's just all oh, just a random chance of the draw. Come on, son, you're not fooling me. If you're gonna do that, at least have some actual random teams. You know what I mean? I oh, guess yeah, if they, you want to say the blade, the the blade and um, <laughs> and what's his name, but. Uh, what is it? Daddy Mac and Blade, I believe. Yeah. Uh, but every other team has been like teams that have been feuding or something, or like MJF and Adam Cole, or whatever yeah. else is in it. Uh, yeah, this should this should not blind enough for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then just to talk about the match, we got uh, the acclaim versus uh, Daddy F defeats Blade and the Bollywood Boys. Well, this Bollywood match boys, is man. what the fuck? It's too it's too damn long for no reason. Why are you going 50-50 with the Bollywood boys? I know they're in Canada. I get it. But also, why are you going 50-50 with the Bollywood boys? What I just don't ah. like, got... you know, I, I I hate when they just do the oh, you know, this is your hometown, so we're just gonna throw you in like some random ass fucking match. But it's just like, well, why though? Bollywood boys, man. Like, like if you know, like you knew that you were gonna be in can you're gonna be in Canada for some weeks for a really long fucking time. Why don't you just find a way to naturally integrate these people to the show? I don't know. They've been doing this really weird thing with the acclaim, just giving them random trios matches to have, but like they, they're yeah. not like nowhere near the orbit of House of Black, which I just think is social. Like, what are we doing? But- uh, they're, they're really focusing on getting uh, what is it, Billy Gunn to ride off into the sunset, which I feel like they're dialing back. Also, I did not know that Chris Jericho was on the Eric Andre show. That's funny. This seems like a show he'd be on. Yeah, he was also on Who Line Is It Anyway, which is a show I never got. It's just it's like wild out except white. Oh, uh, no, I, I I get it. Like it's improv, <laughs> but like I don't think it's funny. No, I see, I definitely see, see some clips of like Who's Line being f- pretty funny. I think they're funny guys. Um, I mean, I used to get a lot of those on TikTok. I get a lot of those clips. Now I get oh, the bear sh- clips a lot. You oh yeah, I get I get the bear clips uh, a lot too. Yeah, I was bear uh, clips crazy. I was going to watch the bear, but somebody's been watching on my Hulu. So those oh, episodes, no, you, no, those you epi- should absolutely, you should episodes, absolutely watch it. Those episodes are tainted. <laughs> no, you should, you should absolutely watch it. It's, 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 I think season two, I thought season one was fantastic. Season two is even better, which I didn't think they would be able to do, but man, not, it's so good. I'm not in the right mindset to be watching that. I didn't cry a lot. You know me. I like to cry. I only cried one episode. I'm good for now. I, I do want to check it out. Um, yeah, that, that is it for AEW. Let, let's get into uh, what they call this episode of uh, NXT. This is like the 4th of July joint, right? They ain't called it special. They're, they're, no, it doesn't special. Oh, okay. Uh, NXT has a lot going on because they try, <laughs> for better or for worse, they try to put as many uh, fucking, what is it, as many matches as fucking possible. Um, so to start the show, we got... Uh, Blair Davenport defeating Roxanne Perez what I felt was a really good match um, you know I there's not a right there's not really a lot of Roxanne matches that I don't like so um, I like I, this match she was she's a lot more aggressive yeah she's on the offense instead of being like a defensive wrestler like she usually is I really enjoyed that um, different it was a different vibe but I think the right person won I think you want to add more adversity to um 
Roxanne and what her storyline is. And also, you know, you want to get Blair over. It's only her second match back. So mm-hmm. I'm going to try to get her over as best possible. Yeah, I thought it was uh, oof, my about to sneeze. But yeah, I, I thought it was really good. I enjoyed it. I'm um, curious to see how this feud continues. Uh, hopefully we get a match with a stip. Yeah, I could see that happening on the pay-per-view. Mm-hmm. I, they're not, not going to ever miss two pay per views. I mean, a pay per no, two pay per views in a row. I don't see that happening. Not the not the Golden Girl, right? <laughs> I, just, I just don't see that happening. Um, next we got Mustafa Ali defeating Tyler Bate, which I, I felt like that was going to happen even <laughs> even before I read the spoilers. Um, good match as well. I there was no real possible chance of just missing with these two competitors. Um, yeah. For me, I'm just really curious how this is going to, you know. What is leading to? Is, is most of us going to win the championship? Is he going to be the one to defeat Wesley? Would you be okay with that? No. Because although, <laughs> al- although, Wes, uh, although Ali is great and he definitely feels natural here. Um, well, like, you know, he feels natural in NXT. But um, no. <laughs> well, let me no. tell you something. I, I don't like the police. And that man is the police. I don't care if he if he quit or whatever. He, okay, he, once, a po- okay. once once a police, always the police. So I can't, okay, res- I can't respect him. <laughs> can't respect. And he be acting like a cop on TV, so I can't. You know, I mean, he has, he has cop energy. <laughs> West Side. <laughs> um. Yeah, that match was good. Um, Stacks. Stacks is linking up with those East Baltimore niggas, man. It's not fire, man. <laughs> That's not hard, man. That dog, how you locked up, bro? I pull, I pull up to, I pull up to the call, and I and I got the out with me, saying we cool. What kind of visitation he writes? He got where he could bring two, uh, bring a person with him. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there, you do that? There's, 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 yeah. If it's not I'm like a sure BD family like. or something, oh, maybe there is. I don't know. I've never been to jail. I don't know nobody that went to jail, so I, I don't know either. Uh, well, I don't know about no visitation. You feel me? Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. It was weird. And he was just like, yeah, man, nah, we, we got a dog. We, we came a deal. Uh, I'm going to beat these guys one, three. And we will get you <laughs> which, out. Which I'm happy. Which I'm happy you pointed out. Like, yo, there's three of them. What are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. I was just like, well, fuck are you, are you, are you stupid? <laughs> um, I'm very, I'm very curious how this is going to work out. Um, I wonder if they'll bring um those two dudes that they're, they're, that are uh, deb- debuting. I forgot their names. Oh, uh, like, uh, uh, the... Nima and Price. And yeah, the, what they're like? What they're like? Eight, they're eight, and the, like and, APA or and the mafia is linking with the with the Dominicans. Ooh, how you stop that? <laughs> real, 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 real crime lords. <laughs> how you stop that? I don't think those are those guys Dominican. <laughs> I don't know, but they they look very Dominican. <laughs> you, you, you keep putting races on people. <laughs> I mean, shit. First, the first, Brazilian, first, the Brazilian, now the Dominicans. I mean, shit. Y'all's calling Braun Breaker Dominican. What can, what can I do, Ooh, bro? I did not call him Bra- Dominican. I never called that man Dominican. <laughs> that man, that man's last name is Rothschilder. Ain't no Dominican <laughs> last name. Whatever fuck his last name is. What is it? I don't know. Uh, whatever, what you know the the, the uh, I I personally I don't, I I don't want these boys affiliated. Uh, what is it, Nima and Price to be affiliated with the hashtag cartel? Um, multiracial, multiracial, a racial angle. Yeah, you feel me? Um, but yeah, he he probably just gonna get his ass beat. That should be fine. Um, <laughs> cause this nigga really ain't got no plan. Because you got to think, if you Tony D'Angelo and you say, you you hear this nigga's a rat, he's trying to undercut you, and the deal is he going to link up with his op, they're real cordial on the other side, and it says, yeah, man, if I win this match, you you, you get out. You see? How am I not going to think that nigga going to do the figure poke of doom, bro? Good. Um, but yeah, fuck him. Uh, oh, also, Tony D'Angelo? Tap boy acting his ass off, boy. His bag. Like he he might not be main roster ready in ring, but with the acting, I think his I think his in ring is fine. I don't see why you don't like it. 
Uh, I think it's fine. I think it's, it's, it's I don't, perfectly I don't, fine in ring. I agree. I think it's all right. I just think there should be some tweaks. Um, what is nigga? I just think there should but, be some tweaks. nothing but punches. <laughs> Close. <laughs> you the Cena offense. Shit, fuck it. Cena over. Real brawler. You feel me? You're getting dirty. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man. Um, he got he got act his ass off for show. Put that nigga in the vignette. He gonna really do his goddamn thing. Uh, okay. next we got the Creed Brothers versus the Dyad. Um, the loser the- leaves NXT. Match. You know what? When they announced this match, I I thought this was gonna go a lot different. I gotta be honest with you. What I happened? Thought, I thought this was gonna go a lot different when they announced the match. I did not. Oh yeah, see, I did not see this result coming. I, I gotta be honest. I, I I I was very shocked as well when I read the spoiler, and I was just like, I can't. I'm I'm extremely happy. To see these guys gone from the PC, bro, I'm I'm glad. Yeah, I think this is long overdue. They have they've had nothing to really do in the last like, damn near the last year. They've really done a whole bunch of nothing. So <laughs> this is this is good for them. I'm excited to see. I saw some people theorizing that they should do like a like a, a not a not exactly the shield, but have Braun and the Creeds come up together as a as a stable. I'm all for it. Would I mean, not be mad at once. That That'd be hard. Yeah, I, I would be all for that. If that's what the plan is. I think that's a great way to get all three guys in there. I mean, mm-hmm. if you want to do Shield 2.0, it worked, it worked the first time. Uh, n- n- I wouldn't necessarily want it to be the Shield. No, yeah, yeah I, 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 I'm, I'm not bullet for holding this. I'm just, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> a spiritual successor to. I would know. like that. That'd be fun. Oops. Um, yeah, that'd be interesting. That'd be really cool. That's kind of where I'm at with it. But as far as the match goes, man, what a what a great uh, you know, goodbye for the Creed brothers. They got all this shit off. Rude is mm-hmm. a damn springboard 450, like he AJ Styles. Um, Julius is fantastic as ever. And I think the dyad really had a good showcase as well. And yeah. I think they've been they've actually been in their bag like the last like couple of months. They've really been working. And their matches have been really good. They just fucking um, lose. I I I hope you know they came to some kind of a deal with Sean or Triple H, and they end up staying. I know their contracts are up still soon, and they could still end up leaving. But I hope they stick around. I really do. I hope they just get their old gimmick. I I'm not the old, I'm I'm kind of anti like give them all old gimmick back. You know the stuff that Triple H was doing on the main roster, but like. This one I wouldn't be like, you know what? That's fine. Give them their old giving back. I, like I said before, I think they really cut them at the legs, not letting Zach Gibson really get the mic very often. So he's just so yeah. good at it. But literally, like that's literally like his best thing. It's like if you had Roddy Piper and you had him not talking. You know what I mean? Like, why take that away from him? They put him in a stable. I think Zach Gibson on his own I really can get emotion out of a crowd. They were taking their shoes off in the air <laughs> in response <laughs> to them talking. <laughs> Just to let you know. Yeah, you know, uh, what is it? Roman Reigns had them standing levels yeah. <laughs> um, to take a whole shoe off for a nigga. Um, but no, I agree. I, I think that although they won, they should probably get away from Joe Gacy anyway. I think they're leading to that regardless. And whoever went into the ring and cheated for him, Fuck yeah. They, they did the we'll solo finish. Who yeah, do you think right? it is? Do you think it's somebody you know, or is it going to be like a PC recruit? PC recruit. Yeah. Re- re- right. re- uh, I feel like even if they're, they're probably going to be out anyway. Um, They'll probably look back at the tape or some shit next week and it'd be like, you know, what the, what the fuck was that? And Joe Gaines would be like, oh, come on, man. You know, I had to get that insurance. And he's like, well, fuck, we didn't need that shit. And then he's just like, you're being really ungrateful, even though you still have jobs here. And then, you know, that's how we go. Oh, I like what you're thinking. I like that. I mean, that's so basic, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes basic is good, though. Yeah. Um. So that should be interesting. I'm looking forward to see uh, where they go from here. Something that uh, Mackenzie Mitchell pointed out when uh, Tiffany Stratton came through and then <laughs> bothered... Uh, Ivy Niles, it was just like when the Crees lose, does she leave too? Um, and then Mackenzie Mitchell said, nah, it'll just be the brothers. 
So, um, she had legatoed. Yeah, she's about that's, to be in that's, Electra that's, Lopez bag, <laughs> doing nothing. Sink or swim, baby. Sink or swim. Mm-hmm. I do I like Ivy Nile, by the way. I just, I just, yeah, she's good. Vo- it's just, it's, it's her voice. She looks so intimidating, but when she speaks, <laughs> it's so gentle. That, I, I, don't, she, I don't, she, I don't know how you fix she, that. She just has to be a face forever. Yeah, like you can't. I just can't like take her. She sounds so like motherly, like so maternal. Like I just want to like give her a hug. You know what I mean? Yeah, like it. Like her I being heel night. is her. Her being heel is gonna be like um, Tristratus being heel, <laughs> where she's like but, doing all these insults, and you're just like, oh, yeah, look, oh, <laughs> cute. And she and she's so petite too, so like it, it adds on to yeah, it. it. Just like, like oh, lady, I like her, man. It's like, oh, makes you smile. What, what, what did I do to upset you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fault. <laughs> but other than um, that, I do like Ivy Nile. I think she's a fine worker. Yeah, no, I think range. she's fine. No, she's cool. She's cool. Uh, start, start her. Start. Get her a new tag partner. Fuck Tatum. Uh, I've been on then, that. Yeah, right. <laughs> Never went back to it either. Um, what is it? Ilya Dragunov. He gets his hands on Braun Breaker. He said, "You know." I'm not gonna jump you from behind like a little man or a little bitch. You feel me? No, that's not dragging off style. I'm in your face with it, and I'm gonna crack your shit. And then he got uh, he got, he got busy on Braun. Um, good looking forward to that. Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to that match. That should be fantastic. I, I hope I hope dragging off gets put over. I love yeah. very similar to how he beat uh, Gunther when well, Gunther's on his way out. I hope they keep yeah. it, keep it going. Yeah, but at, at some point, Dragunov has to go for that championship. He's he's like, how many big I, wins can he have, and then not get, get a title shot? Like, let's get, like you can't avoid it for so long. And he's over. Thing, he had yeah, a huge pop when my, he came my, out. My, th- it, it's so somebody got to come off that because Wesley and uh, Carmelo, both of them being faces, Dragunov being a face, it might it, it might get a little weird. And I honestly, I'm not tolerating either of those guys beating him when the time comes, you know? Yeah. I, th- I feel like they're building Dragon off for something important, so I just don't see how you can lose anytime soon. Yeah, so we'll see where we, where they go from there. Oh, excuse me. Um, And then NXT Underground. Woo! I <laughs> liked it. This match, this match was really intense. And Bro. I would like, to, and I would like to say, Josh Barnett, you know, you want to be a little hater or whatever, but this match was a lot better than all the previous blood sports. Damn, not the first one. The first one was hard, but that was Matt the first Riddle's one was, blood sport. That was that was that. But you're right. That correct. You're right. The the uh, the, be, the best blood sport is not in his name. You're right. Um, did he get also, Did he get knocked out on the, on the first one? No, he didn't get knocked out. Uh, but he had like a time. He went into overtime with Mira Suzuki, and then it, the match ended with a draw because you know these guys just have to stay you're strong. Right. Yeah, I you're thought right. that it shit was, was so horny. My problem with the uh, the the first Josh Barnett blood sport is that these guys weren't trying to knock each other the fuck out like they were on the Matt Riddle joint. Yeah. Um. The best match. On- that they had to work. They had to, They had to work five more. Yeah. Times right. <laughs> like, nigga, don't do shoot fights with motherfuckers trying to take care of each other, man. I'm not rocking with that. <laughs> Um, the only good matches I feel like that was on the first uh blood sport was Jonathan Gresham uh versus uh Takeda Takeda Masashi Takeda, I forget what his I name is. I don't, I don't remember. I don't, I don't remember. Match was fucking fire, and then Simon Gotch versus uh JR Kratos. Did he bury did he bury uh until after the match? <laughs> that's good, that's gonna be his legacy. That, is that crazy? Don't, like, uh, that's don't say that. Be- <laughs> don't say that too loud because I just got that shit off my algorithm. Did you really? It's still around. Is that yes. video still around. Yes, oh, no. How many views is that? I want to see how many views that has. But uh, I, I just love that gift of uh, what is it? Simon Gotch uh, is like on the floor, and then J- uh, Jr. Kratos does like uh, what is it? he basically does like the Eddie Thor elbow and then knocks him the fuck out. That shit was hard. Um, and then what is it? I, I feel like uh where the blood sport really kind of disconnect with me where I was just like, I'm not really fucking with this shit no more is killer cross versus baby boy Smith jr. Where these two could have easily just beat, just hammered each other's heads in, 
but both these two just wanted submission finishers like they were going to get a bonus for it i said this shit is whack bro this shit is whack i was like stop protecting that man kick his head in right now pussy i just seen i just seen these other dudes try to kill each other and then you doing this shit and then what is it uh dan severin also had a match but he's mad old and it was just like hey old as shit he's old in the 90s yeah, I was just like, you, 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 you having meme fighters in this bitch. Shit's also, ass. the YouTube video has 1.7 million. I thought, it, I thought <laughs> it would have more. Honestly, everybody's ignoring it because nobody gives a fuck. <laughs> I tell you, is this in um the odd future oldie video just would not leave my fucking recommended <laughs> forever. It was just sitting there, like they were forcing me to watch. I finally watched the oldie. I was like, you know, I have heard that song in a long time. I'm gonna play yeah, it. Yeah, I haven't heard it in a while. I'm probably gonna play it after this, but. Anyway, NXT, NXT Underground, yeah. We're, we're... NXT Underground. Um, they're missing they're missing the strippers and the little club music. But I, I thought it was a still hard. One of my favorite spots is the uh the belly to belly they to were the plugging. outside. Hell no, I'm I not said, taking that spot. I said, I say, I yo, I said, I said, fuck a blood sport, yo. This shit hard. <laughs> <laughs> I when I first when I thought he was gonna do it, I thought I thought like the PC kids were gonna be like, and you like catch, him? catch him. <laughs> they, they, they like spread nah. out like Moses, <laughs> they spread out like the Red Sea. <laughs> he's, he's flat right nah. on the floor. I was like, yo, y'all are bugging. That shit was hard. <laughs> yeah, that's what woke me up. I was at, when it first started. I was like, okay, this is whatever. Uh, what's his name? Whooping his ass. Um, Damon Kemp was whooping. Oh, Eddie Thorne's sm- ass. For like the first like five, just whooping his ass, and then like I don't know, something happened. Yeah. Once that once that spot came in, that that Germans, I mean that uh, belly to belly, all uphill from there. They were going crazy. Yeah. Um. This I I would uh I would say this match is very similar to uh Boa and Solo Sokoa in the street. I was just I was just gonna fucking say that. It right? do, it don't <laughs> matter who won who <laughs> lost. This shit is hard. I was just gonna say this is the solo. This was like when Solo Sokoa. Finally got over with that Boa match. It's the same exact thing. I think this match is what really going to get um Eddie Thorpe over, which I think yeah, is awesome. I, I I didn't think I, I honestly didn't think this match was going to really work. And and no, Damon really Kemp sneaky 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 got like a good catalog of big matches. Like he already got like three of them that I can think off the top of my head. Like oh, those were, were kind of heat. Hey man, he, he's, he's, Damon Kemp is good, he's, man. He's still not a finished product. I still think his promos are weak. Oh no, yeah. Good. I think it looks still looks. I don't. I don't like his like how he looks. <laughs> not like his not like body weight, but just like his gear, like everything. He just looks. I don't yeah. know something about him. Look, but like, um, yeah, no, the, gear, just like, the gear's fine. I feel like uh, what I personally feel like for like a design philosophy, I guess, or whatever, is um, if you're a heel, dark. If you're a face, you know, colorful or like white or whatever. And I believe he was like wearing like white gear in this. Uh, hold on, it like silver. Yeah, it was like a still like it's silverish red and blue. I don't really get it. And then he has like the white knee pads and shoes while Eddie Thorpe is like in his uh shadow the hedgehog colors. <laughs> he has Randy Orton 2009 bag, real menace bag. You feel me? Yeah. A real menace. <laughs> Not with the tassels, but I don't know. I feel like he he should uh you know should be a little more colorful. That's just me. But uh, yeah, th- th- this match works for me. I'm, I'm, I hope this translates into the ring for Eddie Thorpe. Um, but this segment, was I like hard. his interest a lot too. Also, uh, Gable Stevenson was there. Beautiful German suplex. He got that down. So that much. Yeah, he fucking better. Those are some good. Those are some good Germans. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, also, the spoilers... whoever the first guy was that sold it. Oh, right. the, the spoiler was no. Yeah, right. <laughs> suplex some wrestlers. <laughs> That's <laughs> Gable Stevenson. All... <laughs> suplex and wrestlers um i don't know where scable goes from there i don't know if he's gonna because he's going back to school right you need like eligible one more year yeah well, i don't know i think he, i think he's going back to school or something i don't know what he's doing but um so i don't know if he's gonna be around for good or that like a, a one-off type deal yeah i don't i don't, I don't necessarily uh care if yeah. he's like around or not also cause... we're as far as gable stevenson going forward we're gonna do the matt riddle rule yeah we know he got some allegations or whatever but we're just gonna speak strictly TV, just so you know we can get that out the like, way now. Me, like uh, us endorsing Actually, no, his uh, us endorsing his in ring is not endorsing his actions that took place yeah, uh, in yeah. Minnesota. Actually, his wasn't even accusations. He got straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I believe he got off on technicality. Yeah, he, he he was booked, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty <laughs> like sure he was, he was like cooked. Okay. He got off on some like weirdo. Tech- 
that they got rid of like after that they're like yeah we can't do that no more so yeah um it's right, right yeah but, that, that, know, that, but... That, that's the rule we're, we're not endorsing any of his you know his stuff but you know the game's the game it's going forward i i know i know saying the game to game is terrible but it is what you gonna do man what, what, what do you want me to do i i would like here, a better i would I would like a better justice system as well, folks. <laughs> we're, sitting, we're sitting here watching this man's product. We know he, you know, time he on. You know what I mean? Nasty, like, yeah. So, what, what can we do? Got to um, do what you got. Just living out here. Got content to make. What else we on? <laughs> um, quick hits. Kalani Jordan defeats Tatum Paxley. Um, where B Priestley not gonna help her girl? I thought, I thought y'all was uh, cool. They, they, I guess they they about to drop that because we haven't heard of people about that. Tatum Paxley's been in a weird spot where they don't I don't know what they're doing with her. Yeah, they don't she know turned, what to do she with turned her. On, she turned on Ivy and then that was kind of it. And then she, she what Robert. is it? She she helped uh what is it? Um, she helped Blair Davenport. <laughs> she eliminated herself to help Blair Davenport defeat or uh, beat the shit out of Roxanne. And that's all we got. Uh, Nothing yeah, really uh, update on that. So, so um, weird. Kalani Jordan, I, I like I like her look. She's a little cutesy little uh, arm drag she does. It's cute. She uh, is like her, Danny Palmer, and Sol Ruka. They go be one I'm, hell of a face faction, bruh. I'm not I'm not putting her with those two yet. I think Sol Ruka and Danny Palmer are a little more advanced than her. But this is like a third match, so I'm not. You know what I mean? She, but she's she's good catching in all on quick. She's, yeah. she's crazy. She's catching on quick for her first solo match. That was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, um. Sorry, man. Uh, yeah, I, I'm liking a lot of the new uh, women recruits that are like coming up now. Like, I don't think any of them are like. I feel like the only like miss, like quote unquote, would be like Tatum Paxley. Like, it's not really not saying like it's not coming together. Like, she's like trash in ring, but it's just like you know, like story wise, they're not really doing anything. But like, at least Danny Palmer, like she she was part of some something significant as of yeah. late. <laughs> Or Tatum Faxley's been a, around for a while and, you know, sort of snubbed uh, of those opportunities. Um, Lyra Valkyra defeats JC Jane. <laughs> uh, Rhea Ripley told her to handle her business and she did not do that. Um, but she Let got it. He sort of got her come up and beating up Lyra at the end. Yeah. Fine match, fine match. Javier Bernal gets beat up by Von Wagner. Not much to say there. Hold um, on, hold on. There's something to say. Bro, what do you say? What, what is there? No, there's something to say. The crowd actually reacted to something Von Miller, I mean, not Von Miller, Von Wagner did for the Von first time Miller. forever. <laughs> not the Von Miller, but uh, Von Wagner. Uh, they reacted. Yeah. He, he was over. You know what? You know, that you know, that you is know, important. It's <laughs> tough. You know what it is? Because it's tough. Because, like, if the PC don't fuck with you, they just won't fuck with you going forward. So it's very rare for you to get the PC to change their mind about something. Once they like, because once they don't fuck with you, they just don't fuck with you, no matter what you do. Sometimes, but they fuck with but... you. But they, <laughs> but if they fuck with you, they fuck with you heavy. Okay. You know what's so uh, funny too? You know, you know what I was thinking about all this LA Knight talk on um on Twitter and stuff, whatever this and that, what he deserves and what he doesn't deserve. I was just thinking yeah. about like, when we, remember like when he would come out to the PC, <laughs> he would get the pops and we were saying, we were joking around saying like, this dude's like the rock and stone cold combined. Yeah. <laughs> it really transitioned over to the other shows. I didn't think it would get like that. I thought that was like the, uh, the PC gas in it, but like, Oh, it, nah, must be, he, it must be something. He's really coming out here like the rock and stone cold every week. He he got that shit on him to, to the point to the point where Kevin Nash is hating, and I'm just like, why, yeah. bro? Yeah, Kevin Nash is still some hater. I didn't, I, you know what? I kind of want to hear it in context, but just from the like the little headline, it sounded like some hater shit. That sounded yeah. like real hater shit. Personally, I'm just like, you know, could be compared to the Rock. I'm just like, that's hard. Yeah. Now I will say, LA Knight, tone the line a little bit. I was fine with the promos and stuff, but the little the little fake people's elbow. If you're pushing oh, it, buddy. Yeah, yeah. They're pushing the, it. The, the, the people's elbow is just like, okay, now nah, Kevin it, Dash, I hear you. But like <laughs> to even be to even be compared to the rock, like that's fantastic. Uh I mean, yeah, you know, we can't yeah. beat that. So that's good. Um yeah, you're right. Uh Von Wagner finally get a reaction is good. Noam Dar has lost it. Um he's talking to a pitcher of the Heritage Cup. <laughs> you know, you know this is missing. Shaw Samuels. We need Shaw Samuels. I feel like their chemistry was so good. I wish he was still around. 
I I truly have no frame of reference. I'm very sorry. Well, when, when he was like he was uh his bookie or something like that. So he was it it was just really funny stuff. It, they had really good chemistry together. And because Shaw Samuel is just a funny guy. So I just kind of wish he was still there. I think he would add to the group as well. Um, uh, I'm not I'm not too I'm not too. Uh, I think um, the metaphor is okay so far, you know. I don't think their chemistry is necessarily bad, but I, I can't compare the chemistry between them and then Shy Samuels. Good times. Yeah. It just sucks. I think it's unfortunate timing for uh, what's his name for um, Noam Dar. Hopefully his injury is not too bad. He can come back soon. Yeah, that, that really sucks that uh, he, he got injured as <laughs> as he just started cooking, you know? Yeah, literally at the match, he was like, oh, yeah, it's over. <laughs> he just won the damn yeah. thing. How long uh, do you think they, they're going to keep that damn trophy before it becomes a belt? Uh, I don't know. Somebody could complain and say this shit's too. This is ridiculous. Why are we carrying this big ass thing around? <laughs> Nathan Frazier's <laughs> already complained that that shit's too heavy. <laughs> Give me a damn championship. What are we doing? Um, I don't know. Uh, I I don't have a timeline. I'm cool with it being a a, a cup. Um, it makes it different. <laughs> you know, so this doesn't seem very practical. It does not. <laughs> but it's fine. Like if they go on the road, do they have to bring it around them on the road, or will they keep that backstage? What do you think? No, like, you, I, like if you win, if you win the money in the bank, it's like a carry on. Yeah, I, I'm sure the, uh, WWE is putting it in the in the production truck with all the props and shit. No, I'm just playing around, but yeah, no, <laughs> don't, don't carry that big ass belt through uh, TSA, bro. <laughs> Unless you got the clear joint. I feel like do wrestlers have I, I feel like all wrestlers should have like the clear. I'm sure uh, that yeah, they probably got a whole setup where like we're, I'm sure they got a deal with whatever like airline they want to WWE probably has like a partnership with or something. And you go from there and get everybody to do the clear. Uh, I, I just think it would make sense. Right. Like get get it getting a, a, a bulk deal on the clear. Yeah. We need a little something something in bulk. Yeah. Um Nima and Price will be debuting next week. Uh, so we, we get to see what they're about. Also, we're briefly speaking of on the road. Um, there's rumors that they might be going on the road. Might be no more PC. They're going to try to really do this third brand thing and put them on the road more often and do house shows outside off, off the, on the road as well outside of Florida. I, rumor. I feel like that would be not troublesome, but I feel like that would be a lot for – I know they used to do it before. They, they, they like every once in a while they would do they would do tapings like different like they I remember they were doing it in Atlanta for like a month they did it and then like I need another location like, it, like somewhere they I, did it uh, excuse me don't want to hiccup um I think that um I don't I don't want them to be on the road like SmackDown you feel me um. But like, if they were just like, okay, we're just gonna do like a bulk taping or like, you know, just yeah, some I shows. It would, probably, in the it would be, area. it would be, it would be a taping like that. Like they do like a maybe like two weeks worth of shows in like one place, and they go two weeks worth of shows in another place. Yeah, I, I, I would be cool with that instead of them like you know, rolling around America and then doing house shows and stuff. Like with everybody like really getting fucking injured a lot, uh, that raised some concerns for me, and um. I don't know. I, I feel like that. Uh, I feel like that's just, uh, a bit, a little bit too much uh, as of right now. I wish they would go the back to full sale. I like, I like full sale environment. A little bit more fans, a little louder. Yeah, that'd be cool. I feel like it's like NXT two. The current NXT is very intimate, almost like too intimate for like a, a WWE product. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. Like it's like there's like thirty people in there. Yeah. Um. Uh... And then also, you would kind of have to do like. I feel like a soft brand split because you no. have to, you, well, you have to get people that are like on the road ready. And yeah. The and, the, and, the, and the recruits would just be at the PC. But that's the thing. What At the PC, you can have a blend of the two. I mean, you can just bring the ones you want to bring with you for that spot, whatever, some jobbers. I'm sure they can figure it out. I'm sure they will. Um, 
and then we're gonna get uh Finn Balor versus Mello at uh at well we Bash. don't know yet we don't oh. we don't we're assuming that's what it's gonna be we don't know they have to be, they will be there next week the whole judgment day I think low key it should be Dom versus uh Mello for what huh why Dom why not Because he has pre-existing stuff with Valor already? Yeah, but so what? So why would you cut that and just have Dom, like, and switch it out for Dom? You can have him beat Valor? Shit, why the fuck not? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, man, he a loser already, so ain't nothing, ain't nothing different, bro. I don't know. I would not, I would not, uh... Put Dom when he already has beef with uh, yeah, beef with the whole judgment day. He called them all out, call them pussy. I guess, uh, the Dom is a terrible idea, but that is it for NXT, <laughs> um, this week. Uh, Brian Thurston just posted some stuff. Uh, I'm gonna read that after. Subscribe to us on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash the A show RNC. Um, we have an episode of Spot Callers coming up really soon. We finally talked about Bret Hart, um, Bret Hart wrestling with shadows, our thoughts on DX, Shawn Michaels, the whole Bret Hart uh, sort of beef, and just, just a lot of insight of, uh, on, on the whole matter. Um, I had some burning, scathing questions uh, for, for the whole thing because I wasn't really watching at that time, so... Um, it, it was nice to hear Justin's thoughts on the matter um, and probably get some insight what was happening around that time. Uh, listen to the A show with Justin and Mules. Uh, they give their, uh, they do their mid-year review. Uh, I can't say I was too happy with the people I saw, but their sure response would be then do your own fucking list. And nah, <laughs> I'd rather just wait to the, uh, I, I, I like to do end, end of the year stuff um speaking of well me and meal has been working on something for the comeback spot content so you will be seeing that soon i saw some preview of it it looks really good so i'm really excited about that okay. um anything else we got going on they try they, 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 they trying to poach you bro nah man i feel like <laughs> we should we should it's something we should have been did honestly i don't know we're waiting on no no poaching no poaching i mean we're, we tired um you can subscribe uh follow us on twitter uh twitter instagram youtube uh you know you can listen to the rewriters room you can follow you can also follow armand uh, of the rewriters room on tiktok where he talks a lot about wrestling if you want something like that on your algorithm and less hip dances shout um, out to armand for the uh the la night interview in the interview to, um, yeah interview. and uh, uh damien priest damien priest, damien priest. Damien priest. Uh, he interviewed. He, uh, he also survived. interviewed Bad Bunny. And, yeah, and Bad Bunny. So big moves. Oh, big moves. Oh, oh. Only if Friend WWE the show. will f- fuck with us one more time, man. You know, let, let, let really? us rock, get some shit really? cracking. What I really need from them is a Miami pay per view. Uh, that's all I need. I need a low love ice interview. You feel me? That's nuts. What? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, shit. you don't feel me? No, I feel you. I feel you. I, feel you. I, I got questions. Um, um, uh, I definitely wanted that first uh, Tiffany Stratton interview, but obviously, you mm-hmm. know, she already had that one on the bump. Uh, you know, you know what's fire? I need that Lyra Valkyra interview. We were one of the me. we were one of the first people to get a Carmelo interview. That that's something important. Yeah, that is. Like we should we should look past that. We were like one of the, we were one of the first. Yeah. Um, and he he was really nice about it as well. You know, he he really awesome. appreciated it, and I feel like you know. We might have been like some of the the people. We were that literally got, like, one of the first people who got to like really get an interview with them. Well, like I, I feel like of uh 2.0 talent, period. Yeah. I don't feel like there was a lot of people getting uh 2.0 interviews, uh, or like people from NXT the 2.0. People, everybody, everybody everybody turned their back. They were like, we ain't fucking with NXT no more. Yeah, everybody ran to AEW and shit. We didn't. We stuck, yeah. we stuck through. We fought through the horny. <laughs> I didn't have to now. fight. I liked <laughs> it. You think it's like the horny? <laughs> I loved it. What is it? Uh, the, the Punisher when he was on the stand. 
I'll do it again because I like it. <laughs> what are you going to do? Chain me up? <laughs> throw me in a uh, madhouse? Throw away the key? He's standing, um, on, he's standing on that. That's crazy. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, that is it for us. See you guys next week. Um, <laughs> I will boot up AEW Fight Forever and I'll let you uh, actually stay tuned on the Twitter and I'll let you know how my jobber run is, <laughs> is going. <laughs> Peace out.